Hey everybody, this is Jared here, coming to you with the layout tutorial of the new main stage template that we're going to be utilizing. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what layout mode is, uh, what you can assign with layout mode, how you can reorganize things uh, on the layout mode, and how to correct mistakes if they are made when you're assigning controllers, faders, knobs, etc. So for some of you, uh, you are pretty familiar with the layout mode. You've used main stage in the past. This will kind of just be showing you a quick refresher. For others of you, this may be the first time that you've ever opened up main stage. You're watching this while you're uh, using main stage and kind of walking through some of the things that we do. Just a quick rundown on what layout mode is, is basically how you create templates from scratch. You can drag and drop uh, knobs, controllers, faders, level indicators, all of these things that you can find within the layout mode. Now when you open up main stage, it defaults to edit mode. And this is what we're in right now. And you can differentiate what mode you're in by it being a darker gray than the other two. Now these are the three modes of main stage. You have layout, edit, and perform. So when you're in edit mode, which is the default mode, you're going to look just to the left. And this says layout mode. You're going to click it and it takes you to a different screen. As you can see, it has a little sidebar here of where you can assign things. Uh, it also has different icons, but basically the template is the same. The main thing that you will be utilizing uh, layout mode for on a Sunday morning would to be assigning a controller. Now, each campus is equipped with the Nord Stage 2 or Nord Stage 3 uh, keyboard based on which campus that you're at. However, the USB capabilities are exactly the same and no matter what controller you're using, the assign function is the same. For those of you using this at home, uh, it's going to be defaulted to pick up with the Nord, so you may have to assign it to whatever keyboard you are using at your house. I currently have the MPK261 at my home. It's the same one that you will be utilizing at the campuses, so everything that I'll be doing on the keyboard will be exactly the same at your respected campus. So for just instructional purposes, I'm going to assign it as my bottom keyboard. This will be the Nord, however, at the church. So to assign your keyboard, you come in on a Sunday morning, you're not getting USB, you're not recognizing the MIDI, you're not getting anything. The first thing that you want to check is to make sure you are assigned and hooked up correctly. So to do this, you've done checked your connections, you're connected to both the computer, you're connected to both the Nord, you know everything is hooked up appropriately, you're going to come to layout mode and you're going to click this bottom controller and you can see that it puts a blue rectangle around that controller. As you can see right now it's assigned to Logic Remote. Now if you look just above this it says assign. You're going to click assign it highlights it red. You're going to play a few notes on your keyboard. As you can see on the screen it is now registering notes and it is also registering port K excuse me port A of the MPK 261. Now again, you can do this for the top keyboard. This is what the second keyboard is used for, is the actual MPK at your campuses. So the bottom being the Nord, the top is gonna be the MPK. I'm gonna again, play a few notes, and you can see that it also assigned it to port A of the MPK 261. All right, now on your keyboard, if we're looking at the template itself, we have a bunch of different controls. Uh, the same principle applies to each of the knobs, faders, and buttons that are on your keyboard. We will have all of these labeled as to what they need to be assigned to in main stage, and we will have those pre-mapped for you. However, if something changes or a button doesn't translate when we send it via Dropbox or via email, you may need to reassign that specific function. So let me show you how to do this. For instance, let's take a look at Pad Shimmer. On the MPK261, on the knob that you will have across the top row, you will actually have a knob that is labeled Pad Shimmer. So you will have the blue rectangle around the box, and you will twist the knob until you see that it's recognizing that. So again, click Assign, and recognize the MIDI and then click Unassign. 
And the first thing that you need to do on a Sunday morning is to test all of your faders and to test all of your knobs to make sure that they are assigned appropriately. If you happen to come across one that is not assigned, you can come to layout mode, click specifically the knob that is not working, find it on your MPK, hit assign and activate that knob to make sure that it's recognizing the USB signal that we are sending. Other buttons that are functionable within the layout mode or patch up and down. Sometimes these buttons may need to be reassigned. And another big one that we will talk about a little later is assigning the latch pads in this section. Again, that will be discussed in the latch pad section of the video tutorials. So this is the layout mode. Uh, that's how you assign things. One quick reminder is sometimes you accidentally may drag and drop something on the computer. So say you're trying to assign, drag uh, a button and you accidentally drag it across the screen. I know that was a bit exaggerated, but all you have to do is hit Command Z and it puts it back to the original function. Just like making a mistake in Microsoft Word or things like that, just hit you know, the Command Z and it resets that function. So this is layout mode. Um, if you have any f further questions, you can shoot me an email. My email is jared, J-A-R-E-D, J, Clark, C-L-A-R-K, at gmail.com. I would love to answer those for you. Uh, get in contact with your worship pastors. They can get in touch with me. They can get in touch with Russell. We can answer any specific questions that you have um, and kind of hopefully point you in the right direction. So stay tuned for some further videos uh, on edit mode, perform mode, and a lot of the other functions that we're going to be discussing throughout this series.